nonsense, Faustus. Now you want to tell me just what the hell is so important? Sleeping mother. Sacred harbinger. Awaken and reclaim what is yours. You who rise with the moon in darkness. Who prepares the path for the midnight sun. Turn your merciless eyes upon us and arise! Nice show, Doc. Next time, call Zemo. Better yet, I'll just shoot you and save us all the trouble. I can feel it, Rox. Trouble in the air. More innocent blood joining you soon. <laughs> Head back to your magic castle. You ain't welcome here. It's called a sanctum. And welcome or not, this is where fate has determined the Sorcerer Supreme needs to be. Tell fate answers no. This is the secret guardian you dragged me 5,000 miles to meet? Who's the mouth? Mr. Stark is brash, but I assure you, he can be trusted. Wait, you seriously don't know who I am? The fabric of magic is shifting, Johnny. The prophecy of the Midnight Sun is upon us. Your last crusade cost me plenty. This time, I intend to look after my own. Hey, pal, I don't think you understand. Things are changing. Two plus two no longer equals four. Up is sometimes down, and strange here is actually starting to make sense. Do I look like someone who gives a damn about any of that? No, you look like you should be bouncing for the double deuce. Listen, all I know is hell's coming, and my pal here says you can help. That's where you're wrong. Hell's not coming. It's already here. Welcome, Robo-Man. Iron Man? It's okay. It's fine. I know what he meant. We come all the way out here, and the old man runs off with that precious page of yours. Uh, could have at least left us some VIP passes for the carnival. Maybe blown up a few monsters on the way out? Johnny Blaze has sacrificed a great deal for this world already. I am certain he will come around given time. Thought you said time was the one thing we didn't have. Uh, all right, let's just wrap this up. I got about sand in my nanopolymer weave.
shouldn't take long. Wow, that's embarrassing. I'm saving my energy till we need it. Sleep it off. Am I really gonna have to bring out the big guns for this? Evil-related injuries? You ready to save the world? Suit may be a marvel of technology, but it's no match for the mystic arts. Allow me to demonstrate. Oh, so it's a contest now. Then you take the extra creepy one. Gladly. For the best, trust me. Shall we get on with it? Now that I have their attention, perhaps a blessing is in order. Something protective? Well, I could give you a hand, or a shield in this case. In the spirit of cooperation, I'll accept your offer. Just this way. You may wake up with a slight headache. Let me show you the way. Make this as miserable as possible for you. Fair warning.
things are moving right along. Defeating the forces of evil and all that. I think we pissed them off. Got a spell for that, maybe? Interesting. A spell to change the very demeanor of our enemies. Something along the lines of the silent information. Right? If you can't make it happen in the next ten seconds, I'm not interested. doesn't care about you. I hope you realize that in time. This is going to hurt. Impressive. Maybe we should just try throwing a big rock at him? Let's do it! As many as you like, it won't make a difference. Oh, well, I think that's the last one. Good. Uh, my old pepper, I was just stepping outside the restaurant to take a quick call. And yet I'm the one who's still single. Watch closely. Being honest, that encounter went better than I expected. Tony, I've been noticing a recurring gamma spike. You see, this is why you shouldn't eat spicy food, Bruce. Localized in the West Village, converging on the Sanctum. What? The collective works of the universe's greatest sorcerers, and he left them underneath the takeout menus. Shifting mystical polarities are wreaking havoc on my portals. You don't say. You okay, kid? Yes. Are you? Let's, uh, put a pin in that. Whoa. Carol. Bruce and I have been trying to reach you. He'd have come himself, but he's... Oh, you did the big green guy proud. I really showed up my homeowner's insurance. Miss Maxim, the wards of protection, if you please. Stephen, I can fight. I've got control now. Then show me by activating the wards. In the meantime, in honor of our missing companion, the rest of you may feel free to smash away. Hail Hydra! No issues to report. Nice one, Carol. Always the direct approach. You know I don't mess around. Besides, we picked up some crazy gamma readings coming from, well, here. Guessing that explains the Hydra goons and ominous green lights. Yes, but not while you fail to use the front door. Um, hi, how about we Don't 
way we know how. Who designed your armor? Because it looks like junk. on attacking me. Uh, guess we're not done yet. Perhaps there's a bounty on Sorcerer Supremes? Davenport was at least a century old. What a list. Interesting tactic. Surprisingly relentless. In any event, <laughs> the rewards of protection. I'm not sure if it's ethical for people like us to beat up chumps like you. Oh, 
follow my movement. I hope this is one of the stronger arms. We did come all the way here for a fight. We serve until the end. All is well, for the moment. We're three of the world's strongest heroes, right? Doesn't it seem like this should be easier? I punched through scroll star cruisers and went down faster. Something's up. Yes, Hydra has clearly raised their game. And I have a terrible suspicion as to how. for the beating we're about to put on you. A moment of preparation. Even the mother of demons is forced to rely upon hired hands occasionally. And you're ugly, too. The wards. Something's blocking them. Not something. Someone. Lilith, mother of demons, harbinger of the Midnight Sun. Prophecy or not, you overstep, challenging the Sorcerer Supreme. Be silent. Be still. Hello, daughter of Transia. You remind me of my own beloved. In virtu de Visanti! Well done, Miss Maximoff. Your unique energy surprised her. Whoa! I'm fine. What? I'm fine. The prophecy is in motion. Lilith is still out there growing stronger each second the Midnight Sun approaches. Define stronger. If we are to have any chance of stopping her, there is only one option left to us. I won't go back there. We all must eventually face our demons, Miss Maximoff. However, one of us should remain behind to maintain the wards of protection. See you on the other side. Magic is unwinding. We are fortunate to be here at all. And where is here, exactly? Salem, Massachusetts. Well, a pocket dimension in Salem, Massachusetts. Oh, suburbs. Nice. Welcome to the Abbey. Home of the Midnight Sun. What the hell is this? Lilith's Junior Demon League? Wait, it's that jerk from TV. Which one? Now, if everyone would just take a moment... Enough!
you're standing on my flowers. Oh, it's been a long time, Sarah. It's caretaker now. If I could have avoided this moment, I would, but... Oh, spare me the speech. I know Lilith's back. We are sisters after all. <laughs> Guess we're suddenly invisible now. Shall we chat, Stephen? No one can argue that the Hunter earned their rest in the first battle against Lilith. I only hope they are up for the task once more. You wizards always make everything sound so lofty. I raised my sister's only child as a weapon against her. And saved the world in the process. Now you want me to dig them up and ask them to do it again. I did not write the prophecy, Sarah. Besides, I am no common grave robber. We are simply reuniting their ethereal essence with their corporal form. Speaking of, it would help to have a mental image for the procedure. Spare no detail. Spiritual identity theft is no laughing matter. spells are concerned, I've seen worse. Particularly on myself. Tony, come on. It's perfectly safe. That thing wakes up and takes a bite out of you. Don't blame me. Visiting hours are over. You can't stay here forever. There's nowhere else I should be. Just saw that Stark guy poking around behind the mirror table. Find me as soon as they awaken. And Blade. Be nice. Always am.
so cold, but the air burns with every breath. Has it been so long? I know this place. In my dreams, it was always empty. But now I sense... I am not alone. Have to admit, Hunter. You make one hell of an entrance. Guess that makes two of us. You should have struck when you had the chance, vampire. You will not live to regret your error. Cute, and caretaker told me to be nice. Relax, Slayer. I'm a friend. You just don't know it yet. Yes. I saw you with Sarah before. But what would she want with a vampire? Unless... The name's Blade, and I'm no ordinary vampire. I get you've been out of commission, but I thought you noticed since we're having this little showdown under the freaking sun. A Dampir. Daywalkers were a myth, even to me. Says the half-human, half-demon monster hunter. You appear quite versed in my history, Dampir. Heard my fair share of stories from Caretaker. The legendary hunter, child of Lilith, last champion of the blood. Some call you angel, some demon. Probably a little of both. Led the Knights of Wondergore against the armies of darkness until you fell at... Fell? Shoot. This is why they don't normally have me do the meet and greets. I can see why. Right. As much as I'd love to see how much weirder this conversation can go, we should probably get moving. Agreed. The prophecy is in motion. I can feel it. We have wasted too much time here already. Man, the others are really gonna love you. Others? Yeah, you've got a little fan club, I think. But why spoil the surprise? Hope you're up for the challenge, chosen one. something or did Nico just raise the dead hunter not sure if you remember me but we met briefly before I'm the witch who called me back from the grave told you or Nico but neither works and this is Robbie Ray is <laughs> oh man never thought I'd be standing next to you got quite a rep I mean caretakers told us stories that's Eliana. Privet. And I think you already met Blade. Of course. Caretaker has reformed the Midnight Suns. Whoa. How did you... Your power. I can feel it. I always do. So... Welcome home. I guess we... I never left. Right. Well, we can fast forward through the tour then. The Abbey is still, well, you know, the Abbey. Basic stuff. Dorms, war room, library, a few places to chill, and, uh, whatever the hell the forge is. I have to say, for a haunted transient castle raised on the cursed grounds of Old Salem, it's pretty cozy. Of course, that doesn't stop us from adding some improvements. We can all thank Robbie for the Wi-Fi. Oh, and one more thing. We've got some new house guests now. 
You think we're a fun bunch, just wait until you meet them. Speaking of, we're here. Yeah, okay, spend 10 minutes in this place alone, Bruce, then see. Oh, <clears throat> gotta go. Just about to begin. Oh, crazy day, huh? Crazy, indeed. I, I wonder if you ever ran into any of my predecessors back in the day. We, um, uh, tend to stand out. Lots of... At least they don't have me stationed in some musty old dungeon like Strange and Stark. Powerful, yes. But how powerful, we will see. Big personalities, too. I think you mean big egos. But none of that matters unless they can help us get to Wanda. There isn't time for a refresher, much less that sort of training regime. You'll have to trust that the Hunter's past experience... Unfortunately, time is of the essence. Otherwise, I'd gladly offer to walk you through some of the more pivotal events that have changed the world since you last saw it. The last thing I thought I'd be doing this morning was bashing Hydra heads across the Sanctum Sanctorum. I am so glad I decided to wash my hero pants last night. It's almost impossible to imagine the horror, the atrocities committed on these grounds all those years ago. Then again, we are less than 20 miles from Fenway Park. You act as if I'm... No signs of muscle atrophy. You seem pretty healthy for a reanimated corpse. You sure you're not a time-traveling robot? I mean, technically, you were here first, but don't expect any special treatment. Caretaker will have you mopping the floors and hauling trash whether you're two or two hundred. Easy for you to say. Nothing about any of this is easy, Blade. Yeah, tell that to Wanda. Let's see how long you stay above ground this time. I wish we could get you settled in. But things are already pretty hectic around here, kiddo. Starting to feel like the old days again, which we both know is not a good thing. Prophecies be damned. It's good to see that face again. You look like it was yesterday. And you look... older. How long was I in that crypt, Sarah? No more than a few centuries. You were... missed. Centuries? And what of Lilith? Fallen by your hand. Until now. <clears throat> yeah, so speaking of Lilith... Tony? What? The kid's literally speaking of Lilith. Tony? That's my name. Tony. That's, uh, Carol and Dr. Spooky over there. Here to help. Help with what, exactly? Oh, I don't know. Throwing the magic amulet into the volcano? Smiting the Dragon Mother? You tell us, kid. You are the chosen one, after all. Do you recall anything of that last encounter, child? There was... a voice. The rest is... hazy. Oh, a voice. That's it? A voice? That's what we have to go on? Results of your long crypt sleep, most likely. A minor inconvenience. Everything required to restore those memories is contained within my sanctum. I will simply alert Wanda to prepare the necessary rituals. Straight to voicemail? Some Sorcerer Supreme. It must be mystical interference caused by this little pocket dimension of yours. Perhaps Agatha can help. Allow me. A lot of... Whoa, what kind of network you running there? The all-seeing eye of Ereshkigal who judges. Bound to enchanted Babylonian soul glass. 
We just call it the mirror table. Wanda! The dark force pushing against the wards. Steven, where are you? That's impossible. Nothing on Earth could possibly affect those wards. Wanda's in trouble. Wanda is trouble. I'll go. You'll need my help, of course. Then let us make haste, Dr. Spooky. Our hunt begins now. I'm sure they know of the Sorcerer Supreme, and I wasn't following you. How long have you two been sharing a room now? A day? Oh, I don't know. What do you say, Doc? Six, seven hours? Six hours, 43 minutes, eight seconds. And counting. Wow. And you're already bouncing off each other like an old married couple. Careful now. You're gonna make this cape jealous. It's a cloak, not a cape. And definitely wouldn't be jealous of you. I'm calling it now. You two are gonna be best friends before this thing is over. So that was Lilith, huh? It's a real 90s album cover vibe. 1690s, maybe. Hard to believe she's the hunter's mother. Resemblance dwindles when one is twisted by Cathan's power. Whose power? Cathan, the Elder. With everything going on right now, we simply cannot afford to lose contact with the Sanctum or Wanda. Is Cathan the Elder God of Metal Bands? Oh, no. Are you ready? The prophecy of the Midnight Sun does not linger, and neither should we. Lilith possesses the Darkhold. If she forced her way into my Sanctum Sanctorum once, I suspect she can do it again. You are a Sorcerer Supreme. Can you not predict her movements? Normally, yes. But since your mother breached the Sanctum, my sense of the future has grown voluminous in nature. Is that another language, or...? Ah, <sighs> fuzzy. My predictions are fuzzy. For the first time, as Sorcerer Supreme, I cannot foresee how the future unfolds, and with my apprentice in danger, we cannot tarry. I understand the urgency. Your apprentice is in grave danger, yes? Wanda is no mere apprentice. She is the Scarlet Witch, one of the strongest magical practitioners I have encountered. But she hasn't channeled such power on her own since... Never mind. One crisis at a time. I do not doubt Wanda's capability, but without my predictive acumen, I cannot bolster the wards should she need it. Still, the wards are woven into the Sanctum's very essence. They should hold. In any case, all will be revealed with time. I suggest we make use of it while it still functions. We should hurry. As much as I'd love to hear a first-hand account of your exploits, time is of the essence, I'm afraid. About time? Not just about time. Mr. Brooks, time, space, reality, the building blocks of magic. All must be constant for my portals to work properly. Yet as we now know, that is no longer the case. We've heard. Several times. Otherwise, I would still be hunting dread maidens in my sleep. Indeed. And while I certainly appreciate the view of this vista, I fail to see how it will hasten our return to the Sanctum. Magic is the answer. No, as I've just stated, magic is the problem. Your magic is... not ours. 
The ground you are standing on exists within two worlds. A mystical anchor point to Ileana's realm that allows her to... Well, I'll just let her show you. Rasputin? For someone so young, of course. You think this is crazy? Wait until you see Manhattan. From here, magic can open gateways to just about anywhere on our planet, and beyond. We don't want to risk punching through the wards protecting your sanctum, Doctor. So we've chosen a safe exit a few blocks over instead. <laughs> Couldn't be worse than the last time. It was just a simple miscommunication. Ocean Avenue. I said Ocean Avenue, Magic. At least we know the wards of protection are still in place. For now. I suggest we hurry. resistance between you and the Sanctum. Looks can be deceiving, I'm afraid. There's no way these foot soldiers are behind the disruption of the wards of protection. Lilith 
Elizabeth has sent you here to die. I hope you are prepared. Get that. That gamma spike we detected in your area seems to be growing. Let's assume that's not a good thing. Gamma or not, I feel the hand of my mother at work here. Don't quit. Give the mother my regards in hell. I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. Problem here. For victory! That's not supposed to hurt. Come now, you're clearly outmatched. Ronda is calling out to me. I feel the strength to concentrate. Blood of the mother pumps through our veins. The 
mother is eternal. Hydra is eternal. Wanna bet? <laughs> It calls itself Venom. Until now, a pale imitation of a very heroic young friend of mine. We will feed your stomach. <laughs> stomach juices and eat it with his spleen. Great, but not bad. We will peel back your flesh. No escaping this The pain would be bearable if only he would stop talking. Savor your delicious brains! 
Or the rest of your mother's children, so chatty. Thankfully, no. Watch close. Do not touch us! Exactly what I needed. They're mine. Looking good, feeling good. Doctor, and a powerful wizard. Impressive. I'm on it. Left a residue. Reinforcements inbound. We may not be ready for this thing yet. Might be smarter to pull back until we know what we're up against here. Yes. Surrender. Be belly with your tasty fear! I shall fill your belly with my blade, demon. Put this to the works. Let's try that again, shall we? Behold the light gift. My humble thanks. Not too 
strong for you. Better not stay. Mother blesses us with power. Mother blesses us with strength. And are rewarded with your meat. And to think Lilith was a vegetarian. Watch me. Fragile, but not as fragile as you. You were never strong enough to face me. No escape from me, demon. Hold up. We don't know what we're dealing with yet. Friendly. Seemed like you folks could use a hand, Doc. <coughs> Spider Man! Jeez, Eddie, what happened to you? That's part of a horrifyingly terrible new look. The tongue was gross enough, but. Whoa! Someone is extra touchy today. We will rip your face off and suck the pearl from your bones! Always nice to see you too, buddy. So, I'm thinking your friends here could use a little break. How about I take Eddie here for his afternoon walk? <laughs> Don't worry, Doc. That's just his way of saying he cares! <laughs>
Congratulations. New world or not, some things remain unchanged. The look. What look? Boldly charging headfirst into the jaws of your enemy. Courageously risking the lives of yourself and your teammates. Just to play the hero. This is the Fire Dragon all over again. Fire Dragoon. My memories may be fragmented, but as I recall, I killed the bastard. And all it cost was a village. Oh, of course. I see it now. The look. Cut him some slack. It wasn't that simple. It never is. Which is why I sent you to help. If Spider-Man hadn't come along today, we could have lost far more than... Than the Sanctum? Or Wanda? She means I could have died. Again, putting an end to her eternal crusade against my mother. You've been through a lot. For now, it's 
close enough that you all made it back in one piece. More or less. We'll talk more later. Get some rest. Not to be the nagging old lady, but I told you not to push too hard. Now that things have settled down, you should get some rest. It won't always be this quiet. That was a complete fiasco. And it would have been far worse had Spider-Man not arrived when he did. You did okay out there, considering you were technically dead 72 hours ago. Not bad, Hunter. Not bad at all. Not the outcome I envisioned for our first mission together, but you know what they say. Any mystical battle you can teleport away from. No kidding. Caretaker would have been pissed if Venom had actually eaten the hunt. Bravo. You survived. Hunter, you look... scathed. Hey, for what it's worth, I think you did okay out there. You got some decent hang time, even uh, given you were wearing, what, 70, 80 pounds of chainmail? On the stark scale of reckless yet daring heroics, I give it a solid 6 out of 10. Don't worry, you'll get there. With a little help. Your support is appreciated. Oh, no problem. Already got a few ideas cooking. You're not allergic to mimetic poly... You know what? Never mind. Why spoil the surprise? I, I couldn't help but overhear Auntie Caretaker over there telling you to get some rest. That uh, sounds like a good idea to me. I suppose I could keep you company on the way, seeing as our rooms are in the same direction and all. Besides, no one should be forced to walk the hallways around here alone. So, here we are. The old room, huh? It's, uh, it's not bad. Functional. Solid construction. Almost cozy. Love the antique furnishings from the early Mephisto collection. Full transparency, Hunter. There's another reason I asked to join you here, other than my abject terror of this entire facility. Stopped here before, while you were out. Wanted to surprise you with a nice little housewarming present. Was all set to write you a lovely welcome note, but I'm fairly certain that wasn't red ink in your quill.
But I do not have a quill. Even better. <laughs> Relax, Tony. I simply jest. It is an ink derived of the spider lily flower. Red spider lily flowers. Of course it was. Obviously. With just a touch of Manphibian blood for power. Haha! -ha, another zinger. And we'll just leave it at that. Well, I suppose I should leave before whatever monstrosity that is most definitely hiding under your bed jumps out, rips my face off, and then proceeds to feast on my soul. I'll leave you to it. May your sleep be filled with pleasant dreams, Tony. Right back at you. Oh, and if you hear the shrieking of a grown man, please ignore it. It's just me, walking to my room. Hi, I'm Tony Stark. But if you're hearing this message, you already know that. When I'm not saving the world, I solve the world's problems with technological means, like the one you're holding. I call it the Spark, a secure information and communication device built only for superheroes. It does all the usual, private messages, pictures, and calls for some reason. But it also comes with access to Superlink, a private social network exclusively for your cape-wearing, world-saving compatriots. You might ask, Tony, Aren't you just repurposing a failed product from your communications division? If you do, I'll revoke access and let everyone else know you're a jerk. I call it the Wonder Man rule. There's never enough room for my armor in this thing.
My old journal. Maybe it is time I start writing in it again. so happy then. past 300 years. Oh, it must have been so hard on her. Not just her. I suppose that's why I might have been a little curt before. A little? You already made the ultimate sacrifice once. Maybe I'm in no rush to see you do it again. We do not choose our destiny. But we can choose to duck. <laughs> First lesson you ever taught me. And still the most important. Especially now that you have all these eyes on you. I have noticed. To these people, you are a being of myth and legend. A grand hero of old. And they're right. You are a hero. But I also know the battle that rages within your soul. It's not enough that you are a hero. You need to decide what type of hero you will be. I'm sure there will be plenty of opportunity for that in the days to come. For now, I would head to the forge. Our new guests are eager to show you something. This was a lot easier when it was just you and I beheading the Dark Legion as we traipsed through the woods. Don't forget about Agatha. I never could. Charlie was restless all night. I should have known something was wrong. We'll talk more later, but for now, Stark has requested your presence in the forge. I think he has another present for you.
good girl, Charlie. It's good to have you around again. I'm not sure we've ever had so many eager new recruits come along in such a short time. We must be doing something right. Something about the whole alien thing threw off his mojo. Now? Think you can tell your friend inside there to turn it up a few hundred Kelvin? I could. However, it might shatter the containment spell, preventing him from incinerating this facility. I think we're good. And just in time. The Forge has certainly changed. Right. Caretaker said this all happened after your siesta. What spooky castle would be complete without its own Babylonian demon-powered furnace? Sumerian fire demon. His name is Babs. Oh, now it all makes sense. Well, once you get past the esoteric terror of the situation, I've found this thing actually has some uses. Molecular bonding, breaking down evil gamma serums, fashion accessorizing... Mm, yes, speaking of... Oh, right. It's ready. Your armor seemed to offer minimal protection against the Venom creature. I noticed. Yeah, I thought you could use an upgrade. Well hammered, well fired. Caretaker did not mention that you two were such skilled smithies. Yep, I am Iron Smithy. Perhaps you should just try it on. Still think I could have used a cloak. Damn near indestructible. And we even got the size right. Not bad for our first collaboration. I still think it could have benefited from a cloak. You think everything could benefit from a cloak? Hunter, your new attire suits you quite well. But how are you holding up on the inside? I know it's easy to look upon me and simply see the universe's utmost authority on all things mystical and macabre, Hunter. However, in addition to being Earth's Sorcerer Supreme, I am also your doctor. You mean a physician of the medical arts? You jest. I assure you, Hunter, I do not jest. They don't call me Mr. Strange, now do they? Except for Tony. Your awakening ritual was admittedly a touch more chaotic than I had originally intended, and well, after your violent encounter with Venom, my oath to Hippocrates compels me to check in with you. Simply put, how do you feel? Physically, I am fine. However, I do feel some Grogginess, a tinge of nausea, sense of memory loss upon time of passing, watery or itchy eyes, common side effects when one is pulled back into the light. Believe me, I know. If any other symptoms arise, you can always tell me. Particularly if you develop a craving for brains. I have a cream for that. In any event, I, for one, do not know if I will ever feel 100% again after the events of yesterday. I still can't believe what transpired, the sanctum, all that knowledge, Wanda, lost, swallowed whole by the black mouth of that foul venom creature. With all my resources, all my gifts, I should have seen this outcome spelled out in the sacred geometry of this universe years ago, but I miscalculated.
Lilith's power has placed a dark shroud over us all, Doctor. You are not alone in this. Your words are appreciated. Still, I must not allow the underlying truth of the situation to become shrouded as well. It's not just the Sanctum Sanctorum that was lost yesterday. It was my protege, Wanda. She was, is, my charge, my responsibility, and I failed her. But I am determined not to let that happen with you, Hunter, which is why I am here to answer any questions you may have. Perhaps my wisdom may benefit you more than it has me thus far. A creature on the roof. You have run into it before. Unfortunately, yes. In the simplest of terms, Venom is an alien species living in symbiosis with a human known as Eddie Brock. He's something of a fixture in New York these days, but typically his hijinks are confined to harassing Spider-Man. My mother has a gift for bringing out the worst in people. Yes, and in this case, I happen to be the direct victim of her ambition. I fear the Sanctum may never be the same. Tell me about your Sanctum's wards of protection. I have never heard of a protection spell that powerful. In your time, I'm sure you encountered a variety of minor wards and protective spells. The Sanctum Sanctorum was shielded by one such incantation, but greatly amplified by the convergence of ley lines. And no one has ever broken the spell? Ever? There's always a first for everything, but I had honestly never imagined a scenario in which the wards could be broken. Perhaps it was arrogance on my part, but Lilith is among the more cunning enemies we've ever faced. How did Wanda come into your care? Wanda's story is quite tragic and perhaps not mine to tell. There was an accident on the Abbey grounds not long ago involving Agatha. That must have been some accident. Agatha had been teaching Wanda, hoping she would learn to control her immense but very raw power. As their training progressed, Wanda was encouraged to push herself further. Eventually, she pushed too far. How did Wanda come into your... Wanda's story... been keeping an eye on her? You make it sound like I've been guarding her. My role here is merely one of friendship for as long as she needs it. One thing is certain, she refuses to step foot on the Abbey grounds for any reason. That kind of power sounds like it could be dangerous. We don't truly know the extent of Wanda's power, and in that respect, you two are very similar. Were she here now, I think you would have found her to be a kindred spirit. How did Wanda come into... I feel like everyone is avoiding mention of Agatha. I can't say I'm surprised, but I'm afraid it's really not my place. You should speak to Sarah about her when you're ready. Let us talk later. Visit whenever you like. It's not often I get to converse with a true legend. I hate to admit it, but somehow this ancient forge puts any arc reactor I've got to shame. Who would have thought mystically bound demon power would be so damn energy efficient? Or carbon neutral? Certainly got that new suit of yours done a lot faster than I expected. Speaking of... What's the verdict, boss? It is nice having an armorer on demand. Anytime. 
I tried to make this version a little less palatable to that symbiote thing. I was this close to making it menthol flavored. But tools are just one part of the equation. You gotta know how to use them too. You were out, what, 300 years before we woke you from your eternal rest? I'm betting you have questions, so ask away, Hunter. I take it this new version is a technological marvel? Impact-resistant carbon composites, some patent-pending alloy mesh, and a few touches from Dr. Spooky over there. And hey, the built-in communicator means we can talk to each other without sending a raven. So it is a marvel, then? Lightweight, nearly indestructible, and modular enough for future upgrades. Frankly, I wouldn't have used your old suit to wax the Mandarin's car. Is all this magic a threat to your new technology? It might surprise some people to hear this, but I do like some things with rules. Isotope decay, magnetic fields, and gamma oscillation make a lot more sense to me than eye of newt, bat wings, and a sprinkle of sunshine. At least they did before everything changed. I cannot help but feel partially responsible. Well, I wouldn't take it personally. We were detecting changes in both magic and science months before you woke up. But yeah, things have definitely hit high gear since then. Seen anything strange around here? What, other than my roommate? Boom! Roasted! But on a more serious note, this place is legitimately haunted. Mirrors look back at you. My room rearranges itself. And worst of all, magic cats. Was it suspiciously elusive, even for a cat? Actually, yes. Thought I was going crazy there for a second, but clearly I'm still firing on all cylinders. It just poofed in next to me out in the yard. Small, black, furry. Cute little thing. Probably some kind of shape-shifting monster knowing this place. What sort of things are you doing in here? Oh, that's right. You were out a while. Basically, we've got a gigantic demon inside the magic box here that provides near limitless power for whatever we might need. Sounds insane, but sometimes it's easier to just go with it. Okay. So, why not magically create a way through that symbiote shield? Have you ever known it to work that way? We can't just wish upon a star here. We need to know what we're making first and put together the right components. Otherwise, I'd have already whipped up Strange a new personality. You must have an interesting origin story of your own. Well, just your typical American boy. Pops was a founding member of the military industrial complex. Mom, a famous socialite. Tragedy struck when I lost them both in a car crash, which turned out to be a hit from a rival corporation. I spent my early teens at MIT, trying to clear my head, and was all set to follow in Dad's footsteps as a war profiteer. Then one day, fortune shined on me, in the form of some errant shrapnel that lodged itself just above my heart. So I did what anybody in that situation would do. I built a super suit and started fighting crime. I guess we have all had difficult childhoods here. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I can't tell you how hard it was to memorize all that at Skrull Sleeper Camp. Just kidding. Or am I? Thanks for catching me up on things. Anytime. Oh, and speaking of things. Remember that uh, creepy gamma goop you found from that hopped up Hydra soldier? Well, I gave it a peek and it explains a lot. If you have a minute, meet me at the anvil over there and I'll walk you through it. I promise it'll be worth your time.
intriguing. 